Will cicada bugs do damage to my home and property? Have you heard about the coming cicada invasion in some U.S. states and wondering if any parts of your home and property will get damaged? This video will give you the answers you need and what you can do to prepare. Over the next month or so, billions of the broad X cicadas will emerge in a dozen U.S. states. It's been 17 years since the last invasion of them, and once they're done this spring and burrow back into the ground, it'll be another 17 years before we see them again. These are the states where they'll emerge. Some areas of these states are already starting to see them. They start to appear when soil temperatures in an area reach 64 degrees Fahrenheit. A warm rain will trigger their emergence and they'll slowly begin to overtake the area in the days after. Warmer temperatures along with wet soil from rains is what really drives them out. They don't all appear at once though. It takes about two weeks for all of them to dig out from under the ground to sing, mate, reproduce, and lay eggs. Look for cicadas to peak in late May and June. Their lifespan is four to six weeks above ground and they'll begin to die off in late June and into July. While they're here, woods and neighborhoods will ring with their buzzing mating calls. After the cicadas mate, each female will lay hundreds of eggs in thin tree branches. Then the adult cicadas will die. When the eggs hatch, new cicada nymphs will fall from the trees and burrow back underground starting the 17-year cycle again. The good news is that cicadas are harmless to humans. They don't sting and they're not venomous. Here's what they'll do to your property and what you can do about it. Dime-sized holes will litter the ground where the emerging nymphs crawl up and make their way out of their burrows. Once they're here, they'll climb up nearby vegetation and find a place to molt into adult form. The molting process takes about an hour. And then there's another few hours for its body to expand and change into its dark adult colors. After that, the cicadas spend about a week maturing. Then it's time for their main objective, mating. This mating is what causes the extremely loud buzzing noises cicadas are known for. The males head toward the top of trees and let out a loud whirring noise that can fill the ear at up to 80 to 100 decibels equal to the intensity of a lawnmower or a motorcycle. After all the singing and clicking, the cicadas mate and the females lay eggs in trees and other plants. Then, after about four to six weeks of life above ground, the party ends with dead adult cicadas and molted exoskeletons littered literally everywhere. And the next generation of cicada larvae heading back underground. Despite their huge numbers, they won't do much physical damage to your home and property. There's one exception to this, and that's if you have young or delicate trees. The main damage the cicadas inflict on landscape comes when female cicadas drill holes into slender tree branches where they then lay their eggs. To protect younger or vulnerable trees, cover them with netting to keep the cicadas away. You don't need to worry about mature trees though. Should you worry about your flowers? Nope. Cicadas might land on them, but they won't feed on them. And experts are asking that you don't use pesticides or repellent to ward the cicadas off. Just appreciate the once in a 17 year experience and the cicada songs that won't be heard again until 2038. Just like any special event you have at your home, once the six week mating party is over, it'll be cleanup time. You'll be left with the carcasses of the nymph parents strewn all over your landscaping. What can you do? Just mow the grass as usual so their nutrients can be returned into the soil. This feeds the trees and eventually the cicadas children who dine off the sap of the tree roots underground. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos every week and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we put out a new one.